Hello and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson for Safer Internet Day. And today, you're gonna to design your own cyber safety superhero. So once you've come up with your idea for your cyber safety superhero, uh, the first thing you're gonna do is press the plus in the top left. Uh, then you're going to choose landscape. I'm just gonna press the little X on this panel here just to get rid of it. Now, we're gonna use two different things today in our work. So if you look down the side here, this is how we add different things to our work. And today we're only gonna use text and elements. So this is gonna be writing, and elements is gonna be a background and a picture. So um, I'm just gonna start with my elements. So I'm gonna press on elements. Uh, and I'm going to search for hero because I want a picture of a superhero. Now along the top, you've got different options you can go for. You've got design assets. So these are all kind of cut out pictures. You've got backgrounds. Lovely. We can see some good superhero backgrounds. And if we go along, you've got some shapes and some icons as well. So today we just want to focus on design assets to get a superhero and then we'll choose a nice background. So to start with, um, I might go for this character here. Uh, and here we go, and she's going to be called Web Woman, uh, and she's going to fly through internet cables, uh, stopping scammers and stopping hackers, and generally making the internet a much safer place to be. So here we go, we can have our picture of our superhero here, this is Web Woman. We could even grab this thing that says superhero, why not, this looks pretty nice, uh, maybe we'll just put it down in the corner down there. Uh, now we're going to look for a background that's going to sort of fit in with our theme. So uh, that looks pretty good or this orangey one's quite nice actually. Maybe I'll go for that, I think it kind of goes with her style. Um, so there we go, we've got Web Woman. Now we need to add her name and then some facts about her. So for this, we just go to text uh, and then we can press this big blue button that says add your text. Now we press that. I want to use capital letters for Web Woman's name. So I'm gonna hold the shift key down and I'm gonna type her whole name as one word. Uh, and I'm just gonna move it, I'm gonna click and drag, so I'm gonna hold down my mouse button until it's in the right place, and then I'm gonna let go, that looks great. Maybe make it slightly bigger by pulling these circles uh, on the corners of the word there. Now I'm gonna add a second text box. So again, I'm on text, and I'm gonna press add your text, this is how you add your text. Uh, and I'm gonna include some information about my cyber superhero. So again, I want a capital S, so I'm gonna hold the shift key, press S, uh, and I'm gonna put her secret identity. Next, I want a colon. So the colon key is next to the L on the keyboard, and you must hold the shift key again in order to make a colon. So hold down shift, press colon, um, and we're gonna say that her normal job, she's a computer repair woman. There we go. Now I wanna start a new line. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the enter key, which is the big chunky button on your keyboard. And that is how you start a new line. And now I'm going to fill out the rest of my information about my superhero. So there we go. There's all my information. Um, it's all quite big, the text, but I can shrink this down. I can move the text uh, and just place it somewhere over here on my page. That looks pretty good. Now I can play around with the size of things. Maybe Web Woman can be a bit bigger here. Uh, and now what I want to do is choose a font. Um, so the font is the style of writing, uh, the way that the text looks. Uh, and there's many to choose from here. So uh, to do that, I need to click on the bit of text that I want to change. And then we see this panel appears on the left. Now at the top here, this is the font Source Sans 3. So this is the way this text looks now. But the great thing is, is we can choose our own font. So if we press the little drop down arrow here, we can choose a different font. Uh, maybe one that's a bit, stands out a bit better, sort of suits our character a bit more. Uh, and we can do the same with our text down here. So I can click on the text here, and instead of Source Sans 3, we can choose a different font. We press the drop down menu, and we can find uh, a different font. That one looks pretty nice like that. Maybe if I want this text all on one line, I can just pull this handle here, and it will just change my text box there. Now, the, the writing is a little bit hard to read here. Um, so what I can do is I can actually add a shape behind it. And this is really simple. So if I click on this text here, uh, and we've got this panel here, if I scroll down, we can see that we can add a shape to our work. So if I press shape, uh, there's lots of these different shapes you can choose from. 
uh, and you can choose the color. I think that one looks pretty nice. And instead of this yellow color, um, I might go for something a bit brighter, maybe a bit more orangey, uh, sort of a bit matching the rest of the colors on our page. So there we go, I think that looks pretty good. So there we go. Uh, now you might just move a few things around. Maybe this can come up a bit. Um, and there we go, we've got our Cyber Safety Superhero, all for Safer Internet Day. And now it's your turn to have a go at creating your own superhero.